everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video demonstrating the new S Voice application. Um, I'm actually on my Sprint Galaxy Nexus, but uh, this is a leaked application from the new Samsung Galaxy S3, as I'm sure most of you guys know. So it is a Samsung application. My guess is it is meant to rival Siri from iPhone, of course. So kind of wanted to do a quick review and demonstration of it. Got some things I want to say to it and uh, see what uh, the responses are. But uh, let's go ahead and go into it. So you got the S Voice application. Um, I mean, you can obviously when you go into the application, it's it's listening to me right away. So if you tap on that, it'll listen to you. So you'll see it loads it on up. I'm, I'm on Wi-Fi right now, so it should load up decently fast. You, it, it uses your network connection, of course. So it'll uh, see. It I'm said exactly sure what. what uh, you mean by and you can I see when you go and get this chance? It's listening me right away. All right. So obviously it repeats what you say if it doesn't know what you're saying, of course. So what you can do is actually to wake it up. You can say something like "Hi Galaxy." and then it'll listen to you. Um, obviously it didn't seem to work right there, but I can tap this uh, microphone down there and then it listens to what I wanna say. So let's just actually jump into it. Actually, let's go into settings first. So you have a bunch of different settings actually. Language, uh, launch S voice by double pressing the home key. That didn't work for me actually, now that I think about it. Uh, you can hide offensive words, um, which is fine of course. Use location data. Uh, you also have uh, auto dial when confident, auto start the speaker when make a call during, during S voice. You don't have to, of course, you can have it uh, not be on the speaker phone. Show body of message, wake up command, which would be something like high galaxy, um, which would be ready for listening to your command. This may drain your battery because it's obviously listening for your voice, that command. So make sure you are wary of that when using this application, it could definitely drain your battery. Um, wake up on Samsung Unlock, only listen while charging. You can have a customized uh, wake up command as well. So there you have it. Uh, there's a bunch of different things there. So, but let's try it out. So it, it does work well from when I have uh, when I've tested it actually. So let's go ahead and test it on out. What's the weather like in Plymouth, Indiana? All right. So there it goes. Loads on up. It'll actually obviously use your data connection. Check the weather. Pops right on up. Here's the weather for Plymouth, Indiana. Only reason I'm doing that is because that's where I'm at right now for a golf trip. So there we have it. Uh, got a little rain going on tomorrow. Luckily it's still practice round, but uh, the next four days we've got uh, some good weather. So it shows you a nice week's forecast for uh, wherever you say. I mean, you can say where's the what's the weather like and I'm sure it'll use your uh, location through your network actually and it should work just fine. Let's try out some other things. Set a doctor's appointment for May 21st at 4 p.m. I might, it might not have cut that 4 p.m. because I paused, but uh, so it says sunny doctor's appointment for May 21st, so I don't know if it's going to say set a doctor's appointment. You have four appointments, which is all uh, different things, so it, it looks like that didn't register. Set a doctor's appointment for May 21st at 4 p.m. All right, let's see if that uh, accepted it. Try, you got to be clear, of course. I, I was kind of speeding through it. Uh, we'll see if it gets it there. Santa doctor's appointment. So I guess set A is not a command. You might have to try something else. Um, obviously, it'll take a little, get, little bit of getting used to, but, I mean, obviously, as you say the right commands, it'll obviously work just fine. Um, you could say something like new event, actually. That should work just fine. So let's try that. Uh, once it, I don't know what it's doing. It might have listened to me again. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So Santa Doctors is getting added to my uh, calendar. There you have it. So it did actually work. Um, I'm going to cancel this. So I'm going to hit cancel. And let's try something else out. So let's try uh, sending a text message, actually. Problem. Send a text message to Andrew Moriali. Hi, how are you doing? This actually worked well when I tested it out. It uh, went through and, and sent it right away. It had the right text and everything. I'm kind of far away from my phone as well. Send a text message to Andrew Morreale. Hi, uh, how are you doing? So we'll see what uh, it loads on up, if it does actually load up the text messaging. So it says E, hi, how are you doing? I added that E because it was Morreale at the end, so it caught the E. But I'm gonna just hit send, and it should send it right to him. He's actually in the room with me, so I should know if he gets it or not. So it's a sending your message, and it'll actually confirm it when it sends. If it uh, sends, nice, uh, 
nice plug for some sprint service going on here <laughs> um, but yeah I mean obviously it's gonna send my message here it still says sending but it'll actually confirm when it sends it'll say alright your message is sent and uh, here we go so let's try some there it goes um, let's go ahead and turn my GPS on so it probably caught some of my previous texts. Of course, I'm not going to be going at it this much. So, I mean, I should be able to press it and say what I need to say, and it'll do it. So it's not going to be struggling as much as this. Obviously, I'm talking a little more than I normally would be. So, of course, you can make commands like turn Wi-Fi on, turn Wi-Fi off, and uh, it does its thing. I don't know if this is going to work. Network error, please try again. So, I mean, obviously, you probably didn't really hear what I said. Um, we could try something like there's navigation things you can do, such as uh, you can say navigate to home or navigate to Chicago, Illinois. But let's try and say find golf courses in the area. And of course, this is obviously uh, just released, so I don't know if they're going to make any refinements to this or not. Um, it'll be interesting to see if actually the whole Android platform comes out with something similar to this. This is a Samsung product at the moment. Um, looks like it's loading on up. Uh, my Wi-Fi uh, speeds right now aren't very good, so I mean, if you do see network error, of course. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, check this out, and I'll be back. All right, so I actually had a little Wi-Fi problem, so it wasn't loading up some of my commands, so I kind of wanted to obviously get that going. So here we go. Let's try out some more things. Um, you have navigation things you can do, such as if you want to, say, navigate to home or let, take me home, you can try those things, or you can say things like, find golf courses in my area and then obviously it loads up find golf courses web search golf courses in my area it'll uh, looks like it takes loads up Google and uh, it finds it in your area so there you have it uh, you can obviously navigate to them as well so golf course locator golf courses in my area looks like it brought up a Google search which is kind of interesting I, I figured it would be actually within the application you could click on the different uh, different ones I, I'm sure if you said find golf courses in this certain city it, let's try it find golf courses in Plymouth Indiana and uh, I didn't catch that awesome <laughs> I mean I'm a little bit far from the phone but it shouldn't have those kind of issues find golf courses in Plymouth Indiana all right, loads on up. And obviously a lot relies on your signal strength, your, your data speeds, of course. All right, so it looks like it opens up my web. I, I mean, obviously it could potentially be a certain command that you need to say. I don't know, it might need to catch something. But uh, you can do things like set an alarm. So let's go ahead and set an alarm. Set an alarm for 10 p.m. Yes, please. I mean, it's kind of uh, taking a long time. This is a little strange that it's taking such a long time. It shouldn't, obviously. Obviously, I mean, it, it could potentially be uh, faster on the Galaxy S3, of course. So this is a Spring Galaxy Nexus, but I mean, it should not have take that long, taken that long to save a, an alarm. That was a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, uh, you've got, uh, sorry, I could not save it. So uh, my guess is it, it's looking for the Samsung pre-installed application. So that's probably why it took longer than usual. Keep that in mind, of course, if you do install this application. I will link to it in the description, but if you do install this application, um, it potentially might not work on your phone. From what I hear, it's only ice cream sandwich devices. Uh, but let's go ahead and try something else out. Uh, just to ask a, a trivia question. How tall is the Willis Tower? So there we go. We got the, the formerly known as Sears Tower in Chicago, Willis Tower. See how tall it is. See what it says uh, comes back with. As I said, my guess is it would be faster with different data speeds. How tall is the Willis Tower? Came up real good. Um, it definitely knew what I was saying. And now it's using my data connection to look it up. So if you have good Wi-Fi speeds or good 3G data speeds, it shouldn't take this long. My guess is I'm actually in a hotel right now, so my guess is Wi-Fi is getting pretty sweaty, pretty bombarded at the moment. All right, so there we go. It took a little bit of time. Obviously, my Wi-Fi connection is not that great, but right away it says 1450 feet. 
So there you have it. That's how tall the Willis Tower is, in case you were uh, you were wondering. So there you have it. Obviously, you can do Google searches and do different things. I mean, you can make uh, calls. You can search your contacts, um, social updates. Uh, you can open applications. Open calculator. Uh, I mean, it's obviously slower to do this, which, I mean, I even said the same thing in regards to Siri. So there you have it, calculator opens on up. But uh, it seems like everything's slower, but it does some cool things like weather. That was pretty neat. It, it popped up right away, so that's something I'm actually planning on using. I'll just say weather for this city, and it can't, comes up right away with the nice forecast. So that's something I'll do. You can say find restaurants. You can do all that good stuff, play certain music, I mean, if you like a certain artist. But that would be S Voice, um, just a quick demonstration of it. Of course, this is my Sprint Galaxy Nexus, not a Galaxy S3, so expect better results on the Galaxy S3, of course, but uh, that would be it. Let me know what you think. If you like this application, if you guys plan on using it, I'll actually do a comparison of Siri and this as well, so expect that very soon. So be sure to subscribe to me, follow me at Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, and as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.